This process started in about April. We got we got the music, and then from there you chore chore choreograph it um, on our simulation program called Finale. Um, we put everything where it goes, then we address it, uh, select the firing system, we download the uh, script into the system, and um, that's how that's done. And then basically it's all planning and um, getting the correct equipment. Um, and we, start, we started setting equipment yesterday, and that took about all day. We started at 10, got done about 7. And then uh, this morning we got out of here about 8, and we've been plugging wires ever since. So. Um, we roughly have about 10,000 pounds of explosives in the barge. Anything ranging from 5 eighths of an inch rapid fire multi shot devices up to 10 inch diameter shells. With three inch mortar tubes, we have uh, five shot ones and three shot ones. And basically, the, each row will go at one time, so when this shell, uh, circuit goes, those five shells will leave and create something in the sky. So this is a 10 inch shell. Yeah, it probably weighs 20, 30 pounds. Um, so this one's made by Vulcan. It's a purple, purple sweeper shell. Some people call them ghost shells. And basically what happens, it goes up in the air about 1,000 feet. And then instead of lighting all at once, it, it starts at one area and sweeps. The light starts around the shell and creates a sweeping pattern in the sky. So this is an E-match. And then this is quick match. So all these uh, shells are fused. With connectors and quick match so the quick match like I said burns 60 feet a second so once this fire hits that match it's basically it's just black powder impregnated string is what it is and it burns super quick so basically you just hook that in there and you just get it close to the, the match and you, you tie it off and then um, it'll get dropped in, a, in the mortars and then these are pre-shunted so if there's any current that gets around it, it won't won't go um, but basically it's just like hooking up a speaker and then you hook it into the, the module over there and then once it's, the, the module's armed and it knows when to shoot, it shoots and it just goes throughout the show like that for every item we have in here. What we use for this show is a system called the Galaxis. It's up from Germany um, and it's actually all wireless. So the controller talks to the modules wirelessly. Um, we have our own frequency that we use so nobody else can get into it. But um, basically I just sit in the hut and I hit a button and it the computer tells it to shoot and what time and when. It basically, you, you put it, so you want the shell to go off at one minute. So the computer is going to tell it to go at 56 seconds because they know, the computer knows that it takes four seconds for that shell to leave the mortar and blow up in the sky. So this is how the thing works. Um, basically, you know, you arm it, but nothing's armed right now, so it doesn't really matter. But basically it turns on, you can select which language. So this is a worldwide system, so we're in English. Um, and there's several different options, like in this, so I'd hit this button right here if I wanted to fire it. These are really 10 shot blocks, but we turn them into 100 shot blocks with the matrix module. So how it fires is um, basically you have your 10 output outputs, so 1 through 10, and then so you have one over here, and it's a separated ground. So it goes 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's hitting, it's using the same ground, but then it's jumping the actual circuit, is how it works. And that corresponds with how the circuitry is done in the matrix, this is called the matrix module. So that's how it works. So there's a, that connection is done in here. And so, like number 10, which, or number one or whatever, number one's right there. So when you put the, that in there, it knows that number one is right there, so it's gonna put the current to where it needs to be. Computer equipment is a huge leap in the industry. It's been around for a while, quite a long time, but you know, I don't think there's anybody in, in, the, in our industry that can afford to supply that many, because we do 200 shows on the 4th of July. To have, to have I mean, this, thing, these, this system, we probably have $160,000 worth of computer gear on here. And you just can't facilitate that much for 200 shows. So, um, a lot of money.